what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got another image released yesterday regarding halloween kills a very fresh image showing michael myers looking very badass and david gordon green gave us some tidbits on what we can expect from the upcoming film and what it's all centered around now just going to jump into what david gordon green had to say in the interview from total film he went on to state that halloween kills is about the creation of fear and it's one thing to be afraid of the boogeyman to have someone who might be in the closet under the bed creeping around your house but we wanted to explore but we wanted to explore next was confusion misinformation and paranoia what happens when fear goes viral you can't just stick your head under the covers anymore so when i'm hearing that the first thing that comes to mind is that's just them kind of reinforcing the mob mentality vibe that we're going to be getting in this film we have all these people coming back that are going to be sharing their experiences and how michael myers affected them from all these years ago in 1978 how they've been dealing with that for the past 40 years and now they're finally going to get to let out all their frustration in this image you see here released via total film we see michael myers at the top of a staircase and i've already seen people speculating on what this is i too believe that this is inside the myers house because the myers house is supposed to be featured in some capacity in halloween kills we're going to see it return for the very first time in quite some time and as you see it looks like this is the myers house and people have also speculated that this might be the scene where allison is standing at the bottom of a staircase she looks like she's standing at the bottom of a staircase and the wallpaper is matching a similar image we've had where she's screaming and it looks like this could be matching up where she's looking at michael myers up on the staircase and she's just letting out an audible scream maybe this is the part where he unfortunately has killed karen strode because i believe karen strode will die in this movie and maybe this is inside the myers house people have been trying to shoot down that theory that this is inside the myers house because of that stained glass window or that window in the back of them now to my knowledge the reason why i think this is the myers house the most uh concrete thing that has me confident in this is the very opening scene of the original film if you go back and look at the opening scene just look at the opening uh when they're first introducing us to the to the world of Halloween and we're seeing this six year old child that we come to know going into his house to kill his sister. Everything that we see shows off everything from what we see from the staircase and a room next to it. It's kind of dark in the back, so we don't see that window but it's very much possible based off of that this is the myers house because it's very similar if you look at that opening scene the way certain things in that scene match up with this image that's been released it's easy to believe why this could be the myers house now the only other thing is of course that window in the background yes we don't see it in the opening scene of the original film but the way the staircase is designed the way the there's a room to the side the the positioning of the staircase all of that points to the myers house now of course that wallpaper is a bit off i don't see that wallpaper anywhere in the opening of the original film but you know whatever david gordon green also went on to say when we made the last one we wanted to find a way for someone who's never seen the original to get up and get up to speed with the story but this one gets right to the action it's very aggressive it's more efficient We wanted it to be an explosive middle before things get streamlined and personal again. And at that end there, I believe he was referring to how things will progress ultimately into Halloween Ends. Because Halloween Kills is the bridge between Halloween 2018 and Halloween Ends. So I expect this to be a very action-packed film. They've already made it out to sound like this is going to be one of the most brutal michael myers halloween films we've ever seen this is going to be michael myers most brutal outing probably since rob zombies halloween 2 i don't think it's going to top that that michael myers portrayal i've said this a bunch of times in previous videos the way he was portrayed in rob zombies halloween 2 all that grunting and all this overly gory violence just for the sake of being violent i was not i was not there for that i honestly was not i don't think it's going to be anywhere near that i think it's just going to be very much in the same style of john carpenter's michael myers minus all the grunting and just the overly bloody violence just for the sake of being overly violent um i expect that we'll see a lot more images released as things start to uh lead to 
the fall and the summer when they start to up 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 the ante with as far as the marketing and everything to get us hyped for the movie since it's going to be released this upcoming october jason blum has promised we will not have no other delays it's coming out 100 percent this year no matter if it's in theaters i guess or straight to vod or some other form of release that they might come up with whether it be limited theatrical release and then straight to vod that's probably the route they will end up having to take a limited vod limited theatrical release and then straight to vod but that was a very cool image that they released michael myers looks very badass uh the lighting in that image is very very uh flattering to the way he's positioned in that image i liked it a lot and it's very obvious to me that not obvious but i'm gonna be one of those people who yes is gonna jump on the train that is inside the myers house it's probably in that same sequence where we see allison at the bottom of the staircase and she is screaming up at michael myers who has probably most likely killed her killed her mother i think this is the scene where karen strode is gonna die and that's why allison will venture into the myers house because that's somehow i'm gonna assume karen ends up there and then this is where halloween kills will end it'll end inside the myers house and it'll, it'll probably end with us hearing allison's audible scream as michael appears from behind that room where karen and him are supposed to be teasing us to teasing us to wait for halloween ends where we'll finally find out if karen actually died or not i think that would be a very clever way to end the movie we don't get a we don't get a clear ending or a clear answer as to whether or not she lived or died but having michael myers appear after a brief moment of silence and then we just hear allison scream because she's convinced her mother just died and then maybe we hear Lori screaming for some reason and then the screen just fades to black also this is very much reminiscent of the ending of halloween 4 where we have uh jamie standing at the top of that staircase after she was but after she was stabbing her stepmother while she was running her bath water it could also be that this is just a promotional image and we don't get to see this scene at all in the film but i think we'll get this shot i think this is this is going to be the very final shot of the film possibly it could be taking place at the very tail end in the myers house and i think this is the moment where karen strode will unfortunately die at the hands of michael myers but let me know what you guys think about this image down in the comment section below turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future also down in the comment section i'm going to have a link to the facebook group join that and if you haven't already subscribe with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video